Hello friends, let's start discussion about the cranial nerves and we are first discussing the oculomotor nerve. So from where the oculomotor nerve is uh, starting. So in this uh, 3D animation you can see here uh, this is the midbrain part and onto the lower side it is known as the pons and onto the lower side it's a medulla oblongata. So oculomotor nerve is basically starting uh, from the midbrain from the which level it is having uh, two pairs of the colliculus superior colliculus and uh, inferior colliculus so oculomotor nerve is uh, starting uh, at the level of the superior colliculus after that it runs onto the ventral side onto the ventral side it runs onto the which part so here you can see it's a sphenoid bone onto the sphenoid bone just lateral to the sphenoid bone uh, we are having the cavernous sinus then this oculomotor nerve entering into the cavernous sinus onto the cavernous sinus onto the which part of the cavernous sinus onto the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus then after passing from the cavernous sinus it is going into the superior orbital fissure you can see here it's a superior orbital fissure and a superior orbital fissure after entering into the superior orbital fissure this oculomotor now divides into the two parts which two parts superior division as well as the inferior division so you can see here it's a superior one and another one is the inferior division then it supplies which muscles so here you can see the different muscles of the eyeball okay fine uh, which muscles medial rectus lateral rectus superior rectus inferior rectus this is the superior uh, as this levator palpebra superioris then this is the superior oblique and this is the inferior oblique then remember one equation which is known as the SO4 LR6 means superior oblique supplied by the fourth cranial nerve and lateral rectus supplied by the sixth cranial nerve and rest of the ocular muscles basically supplied by the oculomotor nerve that means we remained four muscles and one which is known as the levator palpebra superioris so remember these five muscles which are supplied by the oculomotor now. Now which division supplies which muscles? And then remember there is a levator palpebrae superioris as well as this one superior rectus levator palpebrae superioris and this superior rectus supplied by the superior division and the remaining three which three except SO and LR means except superior oblique and lateral rectus remaining uh, medial rectus inferior rectus and inferior oblique basically supplied by the inferior division of the oculomotor nerve so we are uh, seeing that uh, into our one diagram oculomotor nerve as we have learned into the 3d animation now I am showing that everything into the one diagram also so here you can see it is a starting from the midbrain actually which level at the level of the superior uh, colliculus and it's also having a one uh, general visceral effluent fibers from the adinger vestibal nucleus they both are going uh, onto the anterior side or you can say forward side then it is passing from the cavernous sinus here it is passing from the superior oblique uh, superior orbital fissure then it's a two division superior division inferior division superior division is going for supplying the superior rectus muscle as well as the levator palpebrae superioris muscle and you can see here onto the inferior division uh, which is uh, going into the inferior oblique as well as the medial rectus and the inferior rectus and uh, uh, you have also the fibers fibers for the ciliary ganglion it's having the presynaptic neuron which will end here which will synapse and form the post synaptic neuron and this post ganglionic neuron also known as post ganglionic neuron then it will pass into the eyeball and reach which muscle pupillar constrictor muscle as well as it is also supplied to the now to the ciliary muscles so that's our end of the video god bless you all thank you for listening to us